We are rolling. Here you go. Yeah. All right. Hey. Woo hoo! Billy Z and Toronto Rock. <laughs> we are one ugly cowboy. We are one ugly cowboy. Uh, Jane and Richard, and this is Ted. Hey, Teddy Betty. We uh, re we released our first full length album. Well, January thirtieth. We did premiere the album at Seneca Queen Theatre just prior to the pandemic. Um, Valentine's and, Day. Yeah, on Valentine's Day. It was a really fun rock and show, man. It was just soft cedar. And it was great, great. Fantastic. Yeah, it was a really good way to sort of premiere the uh, album. Uh, we got a couple of shows coming up next month. Uh, we are going to be playing Sobble Beach with the Spoons on... September 11th. Is that a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, September 11th. And then we're at uh, the Horseshoe Tavern, downtown Toronto, with Johnson's Creek Band. These guys rock, man. Rock and band. Yeah, and yes. we're playing there Friday, September 17th. They invited us to share the evening with them, and we can't wait. It's going to be really, really rocking time. So if you're in Toronto, come on down to the Horseshoe on September 17th. Yes. Oh, Ted's getting his head rubbed. Ah, uh, how did we start, Richard? How did we start? Yeah. A long, long time ago, me and Jane hooked up. We're talking about a million years ago. At least. Yeah. Could be going on. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Spark flew, and uh, we've been trotting along ever since. Yeah. So we've been writing together uh, and, and playing music together for about, yeah, like I said, about a million, a million years. A million, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was, uh, I guess it was back in 2015. 15, I think it was. Richard and I were sitting in this here studio and we had all these songs that um, that we'd recorded and and written and we wanted to just get out there and play them and so we decided to put together One Ugly Cowboy. Yes. And it's been a blast since we put them. Together. Yes, we have some good guys. Rick Ottenbright on bass, Mike Mann on drums, Rob Kennedy on slap steel guitar and they've hung in there for the last God, what, six years now? Yeah, these guys are wow. like solid guys. guys, really good guys, and they've hung in, they're always there, ready to rehearse, and uh, we're very, very, very blessed to have guys like that. Yeah, and a great road manager, sound man, Cam Butler, so we got a really good crew with us. Yeah. Very, very dedicated guys, can't ask more than that. No, so we're, we're looking forward to getting out there playing more now that uh, things have kind of calmed down. Um, but for us, like, where did we start? The key element for us, where key element? What's the key element for us making music? <laughs> there is, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's all very random. Whatever flies into our I heads. Don't know. We... It's just whatever happens, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Absolutely. It's all very, very good. Oh, okay. okay, hang on. What was that funny touring story you went, or the show? Oh, we were playing Newfoundland? <laughs> okay. This is okay, this way, is this is about half a million years ago. This is half a million years ago. This is before One Ugly Cowboy. Yeah. Okay. Richard and I were with a I can't remember the name of the band, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, the accommodations, as usual, was this uh, funny little band house. Anyway, Jane ended up with uh, her own room. We weren't a couple yet. Actually, was a fruit cellar and it no a... windows, and uh, we hear the screaming in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Jane was freaking out. She didn't know what she thought. There was buried alive or something. No, it was beyond black. Okay, yes. we're talking Newfoundland. It was beyond black. The, the club was here, and you came down around, and then they put the band up in the fruit cellar. And oh my God, I woke up in the middle of the night, and it was this room within the room of the fruit cellar, pitch black. I, I swear to God, it was... it was Scary. It was really, really scary. Actually, I think that another really funny one was when we were playing... Some, it was out east somewhere, too. And there was some kind of, remember the, the slipper? Oh, the slipper. Yeah. Ah, we were ah. playing, okay, so I can't remember the club or even what city it was in. We were playing, there was some kind of an improv thing going on before the band went on. And during? No. Yeah. Oh, well, no, they, that, okay, so we get up on stage after they'd done this improv thing, and Richard's playing, and then all of a sudden this, um, what are they, crocheted slipper? Crocheted slipper. Comes winging up on stage and hits Richard. And he's like... I was a little bitter at the time okay. already. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tour from hell. Yes. Well, the fruit seller and now yeah, this. Yeah, anyway. So anyway, without getting into profanities, Richard walked off the stage. And the 
bar manager comes running up saying, no, 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 that means they like you, they like you. And we bought that. <laughs> well, apparently in improv, if they throw slippers at you, they, they love you. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, but with this band, some of our, um, oh, we've had some, we've been really, really, really lucky and blessed. We played Havlock. Smoking Spurs and Powassan and we've had some at the C and E, we've had some really good gigs. Cowboy cheat, cowboy like and keep the bond on show and he thinks I ain't the wise. Yeah, and it's been fun. And the uh, the objective for Richard and I putting the band together was just to get our music out there. Yep. Get her, they're off the shelf. They are officially off the shelf, yeah. So this first album... Right In the basement now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, how many copies did we print? Uh, lots. Just prior to the one gig at Seneca. Plenty. I think I've got about 500 copies down in the basement, so hopefully we'll get some shows and we can sell CDs, because it's. I always like to get a CD at a show. Sure. It's kind of fun. Sure. But So this is our second, um, first full-length album, and prior to that we released Get Your Ugly On in 2015, I think it was. Somewhere in there. Could that be. Was, Sounds good. That was our debut EP. And the future for us is just... Uh, have fun. Have fun. Like the record says, yeah. ride with the wind, man. We're just... Uh, we just want to get out there and get in front of people. For us, that's the, the big joy. It's joyous. Don't worry today. What... Yeah, what tomorrow will bring. Just ride, ride, ride with the wind. And that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Rick, why is music the great communicator? Uh, because you can consider it to be the soundtrack of your life. Yeah! All right, Mike. Why, why, why? It why? all your emotions. Happiness, sadness, anger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what about you, Rob? Fuck off. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hey guys, just got back from rehearsal. I love my boys. Uh, if you would like to connect with us on social media, we would love to connect with you. Head on over to our website, oneuglycowboy.com, and all our social media links are, are there. Probably the best bet would be Instagram and Facebook. We are also on Twitter, and we have a YouTube channel. Okay, guys, rock on! <laughs>